Good afternoon, Big Deal Channel. James. Yeah. Good Thank afternoon. Thank you very much sir. for joining us. In it's terms of the media interview today. It's a pleasure and to be here. Let me uh, get in start with uh, the first one. Can you uh, a little bit introduce yourself and then you need to from? Yes. And so role responsibility in Monday Night Channel 40 quarter. Okay. Would you like me to look at the camera? Yes, when I yes, talk? please. Okay. So my name is Brigadier General Jim Wellens. I'm the Assistant Wing Commander for First Marine Aircraft Wing in Okinawa, Japan. Oh, okay. And in the context of this exercise, I will be the Deputy Multinational Force oh, okay. Commander for Lieutenant General Supachuk uh, here uh, for the uh, CPX. So yeah, for the, the Third command Corps Army area. Correct. That's and right. for the uh, for, and this is specifically for the command post exercise, which is one of the many things that's happening oh, on right. Cobra Goal oh, right. uh, Twenty. As you know that we run the Kobogon by the Thailand as host nation yes. and Indo Paycom as the co-host. And then we run to until now 39 years. Yes. And you have been joined the opening ceremony yesterday. And then just the, the picture that you can see a lot of people, a lot of uh, functional, a lot of uh, about in international uh, arena. And also especially from, from a lot of a lot of uh, uh, people who deployed around the world. Yes. And then what are you feeling about opening ceremony yesterday? Well, Admiral, I will say that this is my first Cobra Gold. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in the military now for uh, almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've done similar things around the world, but I have never seen anything more impressive uh, in terms of an exercise mm -hmm. uh, than, than what I saw yesterday in terms of the opening ceremony and mm -hmm. uh, the scale uh, as you mentioned, 39 nations involved in, or 29 nations involved that's in right. something like this that's been happening uh, right. for, uh, for so long, uh, for 39 years, is truly uh, impressive. And I think it gets better and better every year. That's right. uh, the research that I've done in preparation for this uh, uh, in, impressed me on the scale of it. Mm -hmm. And then now to see it with my own two eyes, I feel like this is a very important event uh, that's going to help uh, all of us, all the participants uh, in the event. In terms of the VIP, we have the, my, my boss, yes. Chief of Defense Force, General Poppy Pat, and you got representative from U.S. Embassy, and we got Deputy Yusuf Pat, yes. representative from, from indo Paycom Commander. And we believe that they have some guidance on the guidelines you get some of the people in terms of the, the, the folks in the field, maybe the, the, the Marine, the airmen, cool like that, and anything that you tell a bit from, from the policy or in terms of their operational level? So if I understand your question, you're yes. asking what sort of guidance we, we that's receive right, that's right. from them in, in preparation for yeah, from the Highland headquarters. Yeah, so, you know, we, uh, as we approach this as, as a partner of the Royal Thai mm -hmm. our Armed Forces, uh, one of the main things we are thinking about is preparing for tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. you know, what we are here doing is not, the exercise is not an end in itself. It's something we are doing to prepare for something that will happen in the future. That's right. So that we can build the relationships with each other mm -hmm. uh, so that when something like a, a tsunami mm -hmm. or a natural disaster or some sort of uh, operational big scale, requirement huh? occurs, uh, we will not have a cold start. Uh, we will start uh, benefiting from the relationships that we have, have built in this exercise and also the standard operating procedures that we've built working together through a difficult mm -hmm. problem. So those are some of the things that I received in, in terms of guidance mm -hmm. uh, was to approach uh, our partnership opportunities and also our training opportunities. We think of ourselves here as a training audience. Oh, okay. Everyone participating, the people behind us right now who are working through this problem, we're a training audience working through this exercise uh, so that we'll be ready for the challenges that face us tomorrow. All right. In terms specifically in the term multinational 40 quarter, so we plan about a bit before we execute. And I think last year we do the plan and then select the court of action, and then we bring the cost of action and then execute from this one. 
Yes. But the scenario itself we run by the Pacifica, and you got more experience in terms of MDMP that the new version, and right. then you some like a SOP, and you describe a little bit that you have one of the mechanism that you have here that will share with the multinational forces. You, what you learn from the, this experience in multinational headquarters? Headquarter. So uh, we are just beginning the process mm -hmm. right now. So I think that uh, I have some initial impressions from my mm -hmm. time here. I bring as a, back, as a background uh, my exposure to the joint operational planning process and also the Marine Corps planning process, okay. which is near and dear to me as, as a Marine very similar to the processes that we use here okay. in the multinational force. Uh, all of them, the problem solving techniques uh, are all very similar, but where we are right now is as you mentioned, we inherited a plan mm -hmm. that was developed last year at the Plan X, where they went through all the stages of the process and okay. delivered us with uh, courses of action. And so now we will take those courses of action and we will uh, execute essentially a, a campaign mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the next two weeks We'll accelerate that and, and compress it. And so I think that uh, what we'll find is the lessons learned that we have mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the U.S. And, and maybe the joint planning process, we'll okay. share that with our partners here and, and, and learn probably more uh, from our partners okay. than we bring to the table. So in terms of the, um, just like uh, after action review or hot wash yeah. or the assessment team, did you collect data or about take part in Lesson learned. Tell me a bit from the lesson learned. Yeah, so I uh, sat down with my counterpart uh, mm -hmm. from my predecessor last year, who sat in my in my shoes, and he shared with me uh, his his after action report. I was also able to look at our lessons learned from First Marine Aircraft mm -hmm. Wing, where I come from, uh, to see uh, some of the lessons learned uh, from see. the pre from the past. One of the things that the common themes that we see is. Uh, when we get together with this many countries, mm -hmm. with this many languages, That's with right. this, all of these, this mixing of cultures and mm -hmm. ways of doing business, we have to be very deliberate and patient and slow. You mm -hmm. know, we are stronger together than we would ever be as one country. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but the the Thai way of doing things, it, mm -hmm. it may be different from the, the right. U.S. way of doing things. But there there are advantages and disadvantages to mm -hmm. all of these things. So the the main lessons learned is to proceed in a deliberate fashion, be patient, uh -huh. uh, listen, uh -huh. uh, because uh, our way is not necessarily the right way. Yes, the right. And so uh, so those are some of the themes that came out to me from the after action. Oh, okay, reports. that's a good one. Uh, in term of the in term outside, just like social social function. Yes. And if you can have like a uh, cultural or custom in the in vicinity of here in personal law, just like the experience that you can learn about the Thai culture, yes, or Thai cuisine or Thai food, or maybe the the thing that you enjoy, maybe the activity, right, a sport thing like that. Yeah, what you learn and then you take away from this. So, part. I feel like I'm already getting a big exposure to the Thai food. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so uh, we just had a great lunch today, oh, okay. and, uh, and we've had several great meals, mm -hmm. and uh, also had a wonderful time uh, mm -hmm. with General Saria oh, and, okay. uh, and, Chief, and of right, Chief of Staff and some of my counterparts on the golf course mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I really had a wonderful caddy uh, who did not speak English, and, and I don't yeah. speak Thai, but uh -huh. somehow she was able to help my golf game uh, yesterday. Oh, okay, you said so, single. Uh, that single, I, it's single. the best score I've ever had on nine holes. I, oh, really? I credit, credit her with you. I won't tell us. you what it was. You behind us. That's right. We that's paid right. the first that's one. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but these are the types of things, uh -huh. uh, and not just uh, the Thai American, but but mm -hmm. also all of the other partners that, that we have here. Of course, we are all sharing uh, okay. our our, uh, our customs and uh, courtesies. Uh, but this okay. is a wonderful country. I brought my family here for vacation over Christmas, oh, and, and oh, okay. we really really love it. So that the next case can go to another aspect. If you take uniform ops and then play low like a tourist, yeah. if you like to come back to visit Thailand again, yes, I, of course, I, I will absolutely come back. Uh, here yeah. Again. All right. Yeah, for sure. So uh, I will tell you that, uh, and as I just mentioned, uh, I personally, my wife and I brought my children here uh, to Phuket uh, just a couple of months ago for the holiday. Uh, and uh, because everyone had told us what a wonderful place that, that it is, Thailand, to visit. And that was my experience uh, with my family here two months ago. 
And now being here as a, as a United States Marine and a professional military uh, representative of the, of the U.S., I can say that uh, the, the, the friendships I'm developing with my Thai uh, counterparts here uh, are, are among the closest that I can recall from any of the partners that I've worked with. And, and I just got here, so I can't imagine what it will be like uh, after two weeks of, of Cobra Gold uh, being here doing 24-hour ops. So uh, I, I really appreciate this opportunity uh, to be here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Be the Marine, always the Marine. Yes, sir. Super fun. You got it. Rough. All right. Thank you. <laughs>